there's some frequently asked questions <clears throat> about common canons of statutory construction used in California. What is the constitutional avoidance canon? Under the constitutional avoidance canon, statutes will be construed if possible to avoid questions about their constitutionality. The fundamental principle of the constitutional avoidance canon is that a court should interpret the Constitution only when it is strictly necessary to do so. What is the rule of lenity? The rule of lenity in which penal or criminal law statutes whose purpose is to punish offenders are required to be construed strictly or narrowly. The rule of lenity is a canon used in the criminal law, sometimes called the rule of strict construction. And basically it says that an, an ambiguous statute is to be construed against the state, that is in favor of the criminal defendant. What is the rule of the last antecedent? The last antecedent rule is a doctrine of interpretation of a statute by which referential and qualifying phrases where no contrary intention appears refer solely to the last antecedent. This means that any qualifying words are to be applied to the words or phrases immediately preceding the qualifying words or phrases and are not interpreted as extending to other words. What is the serial comma rule? Under the serial comma rule, in a series of three items or more, where each is set off by a comma, each item should be viewed as independent of each other. What is the whole act rule? The whole act rule provides that statutory provisions should be interpreted so that they have a whole coherent meaning. In other words, identical words in the same or related statutes should have the same meaning ascribed to them throughout. The whole act rule is a textual canon which provides that when construing a statute, the text of the entire statute as a whole is to be considered by the court. What is the rule against surplusage? The rule against surplusage explains that different words in the same statute cannot have the same meaning. In other words, one word is not duplicative or redundant of another word found in the same or similar statute. What is the adjustum generis canon? Adjustum generis guides the courts to interpret catch-all phrases to be limited by the specific words around them. This canon is used for interpreting loosely written statutes. It's used if the statute lists certain things and the list ends with a general statement to include other things, which legislative drafters commonly refer to as a catch-all phrase. In those cases, a court will assume that the general statement only includes things that are similar to the items listed. What is the expressio unius canon? Expressio unius provides that a list of words with no catch-all means that the inclusion of specific words suggests the exclusion of other words. So when a statute includes a list of specific items, that list is presumed to be an exclusive list, and therefore the statute applies only to the listed items and not to others that are not listed. What is the in pari materia canon? In pari materia means on the same subject or matter. And this is a doctrine of statutory construction that statutes that are on the same subject must be construed together. In other words, if a statute is ambiguous, the court may apply this canon and look to the remainder of the statute or the surrounding statutory scheme in order to determine the meaning of an ambiguous statute. And finally, what is the nocitor canon? Nocitor a socius guides us to interpret words or phrases in light of the other words around it in the statute. So the court should interpret an ambiguous word or phrase by taking into account the words and phrases that are used in their textual context. Nocitor a socius is used for interpreting questionable words found in a statute. <clears throat>